Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Jimmy Adams and Tony Mejia of wagertalk.com as we're talking Conference of Champions, Friday Night Lights. Jimmy, we got Washington at UCLA, 66 being the total. We're seeing the Huskies, minus three on the highway. Of course, 10.30 Friday night here. Uh, good matchup. What are you thinking in the Pac-12? I'm seeing points in this one, Drew. Uh, this game's got uh, scoring written all over it. Washington's been much better than most of the experts thought they would be entering the year. Um, Huskies put up 39 points against Michigan State, their toughest opponent to date. And that was the fewest they've scored all year in route to their 4-0 record. Um, UW fifth in the nation in total offense at uh, 531 yards per game. And then on the other side, you have a UCLA team that's averaging 41.8. Uh, they've been extremely efficient as well. Uh, not a huge, uh, not a big level of, not a strong level of competition. But uh, Washington's looking to improve their red zone efficiency on offense. And that's an area the Bruins have really struggled with defensively. So a good spot for the Huskies to kind of um, improve on that this week. Uh, UCLA's given up points in nine of ten red zone opportunities by opponents so far this season. And Michael Penix Jr. has been a huge bright spot for the Huskies, who have a great coach in uh, Kalen DeBoer, formerly at Fresno State. He does a terrific job. Um, bottom line, Washington's absolutely going to be able to score in this game. And if UCLA has any chance at all, they're going to have to make this one a shootout. Uh, the over's cashed in every Washington game so far this year, and it's cashed in three of UCLA's four so far. So give me the over in this one. Liking some points. All right. And Tony, coming to you next. I mean, hey, 66 as the totals. We're talking midweek. It's high for a reason. What do you like here? Uh, Bruins hosting the Huskies. I'm a little leery of, of betting Washington in their first road game because, uh, as Jimmy said, they've looked pretty good. Uh, but it, all the games have been in Seattle and that home crowd has been rejuvenated considering they didn't have a football team last year because Jimmy Lake ran it into the ground. So now Kalen DeBoer go, comes in. He brings in Michael Penix. Those two had a relationship from uh, their Indiana days where DeBoer was the OC there in 19. And Penix has been nothing but injured over the past few seasons. Now completely healthy. He's not thinking out there. He's playing tremendous football, averaging 347 yards per game. Uh, he's got a, a core of receivers that are you know, right there with every other team in the country that's in the top uh, 10 and offensively, like right, Ohio State light. I mean, Jalen Poe came over from Texas Tech. Um, Roma Dunze, uh, who was tremendous against Stanford. Jalen McMillan, their leading receiver last year. All those guys are producing. Giles Jackson has a 100-yard game. Uh, they got Taj Davis. So, I mean, they go really deep on that receiving core, and Penix has brought out the best in all of them. So if we're going to back them against UCLA, you have to hope that Penix uh, can translate what he's done offensively in Seattle to uh, Pasadena. And then the, the fact is UCLA is not drawing at all. Uh, it's going to be rush hour traffic to try to get to the Rose Bowl to back the Bruins. So I think the, the Huskies have a really good shot of winning this outright. Uh, they're a three-point favorite, so uh, the money line's a little steep. But I would lay the points. Uh, I'm in agreement with Jimmy. I think we're going to see points here. UCLA has outscored teams 78-21 to 21 in the second half. Uh, but, you know, their schedule has been ridiculous. Uh, Bowling Green, Alabama State, South Alabama, and Colorado, the best of those teams. South Alabama actually led the Bruins in the fourth quarter. So, uh, I mean, like I, I, I wouldn't write off Chip Kelly, but the fact is Washington's look much better. Uh, they're favored for a reason. I think they pull out a victory uh, at the Rose Bowl and remain undefeated in, in this battle of 4-0 teams. Enjoy the Friday Night Lights matchup in the Pac-12. You heard there from Tony Mejia and Jimmy Adams. Check them both out, wagertalk.com. And, guys, a good day to do so is $9 Monday. All plays from all handicappers discounted to just $9. Check it out, wagertalk.com.